Okay, hi everybody. I want to welcome you to this lesson on uh, relations and functions. In mathematics, a relation is any set of ordered pairs. And the idea of a relation is that hopefully there's some sort of relationship uh, between that set of ordered pairs. And the domain of a relation is the set of the x values of the ordered pairs and the range is the set of the y values. Okay, so the uh, um, <clears throat> I have a example of a relation right here. It is the set of these ordered pairs. This is a relation. That's the definition of a relation. The domain, I just look at the x's. There's an x value of 4 and 1 and 0 and then 1 repeats and 4 repeats. So I could just say that's the set of 0, 1, and 4. And that would be the domain of that relation. The range would be the y values. I got a 2, a 1, a 0, a negative 1, a negative 2. So uh, I'd write those down. You don't have to write them in order, but uh, since we're orderly people, we'll do that. All right, so that would be the range. Uh, and if you look at this very closely, you notice there's a relationship. You'll notice that the x value is equal to the square of the y value in each case, right? The 4 is the square of the 2, and the 1 is the square of the 1, and, and the 0 is the square of 0. And that's maybe a little hard to see until I tell it to you, but you definitely see now that there is a relationship that exists between those ordered pairs. Here's here's another relation. Uh, here's a set of ordered pairs. The the domain would be uh, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And the range would be uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Just the set of the y values there. Okay? And if you look real close and think about it, you'll notice that in, in each case your y value is is 3 more than your x value. Okay, there's a relationship between that set of ordered pairs. Sometimes the relationship may just be that they're you know ones that you just picked because they're the ones that uh, uh, you happen to like the best or something. It may not be real obvious at all, but... Anyway, one way that we can describe a, a relationship uh, besides just listing the ordered pairs is with what we call a, a mapping diagram. And in that case, I would put the uh, uh, domain values, say like over here, and then I've got the range values over here, negative 2 and negative 1 and 0 and 1 and 2, and then you can just draw arrows showing that 0 is related to 0, right? And 1... Uh, is paired with 1 and with negative 1. And you can see that 4 is paired with negative 2 and with uh, positive 2. And that's just another way of illustrating that particular relation. For the second relation, it would look like this. And you see that minus 1 is paired with 2, and 0 is paired with 3, and 1 is paired with 4, and 2 is paired with 5, and so on. Okay? So, so that's the idea of a relation, and uh, there's another way of describing it with a mapping diagram. Well, a function is a very special relation. In other words, a function is just a set of ordered pairs, but it's a special set of ordered pairs in which each x value in the domain is paired with only one y value of the range. So you'll notice up here that this x value 1 is paired with both negative 1 and 1 and so that can't be a function. So this first relation is not a function. Uh, whereas the second relation, each x here is paired with only one y. So that is a function. Now a function, you can think of a function as a, as a rule or a formula that assigns to each x value only one y value. So that rule or formula, we often use that in math. And let me give you an example to illustrate the idea. A couple real life examples of functions. The price you're charged for a watermelon is a function of its weight. 
um, the, the typically it's sold by the pound sometimes you get them you know by the watermelon but we'll assume that it's sold by the pound maybe 29 cents a pound and the scale determines the the weight and the weight would be the input the x value and then the register outputs the cost based on the particular correspondence uh, or rule or formula so if you buy a, a 10 pound watermelon at 29 cents a pound your input would be the 10 pounds and the output would be two dollars and ninety cents that they charge you for it now if you and a person in the checkout line at the store both purchasing a watermelon that weighs exactly 10 pounds and her watermelon comes up for two dollars and ninety cents but your watermelon comes up for four dollars and fifty cents right you have the same input but you have different outputs you'd say hey wait a minute that's not right something is not functioning so that's really the idea of a function is that when you have the same inputs you want to get the same outputs another example would be your electric bill the amount of your electric bill is a function of how much electricity that you use so uh, suppose that you and your neighbor both use 450 kilowatt hours of electricity and that would be the input that'd be your x value and uh, and and suppose your neighbor gets charged fifty dollars you know for that much electricity but you got charged sixty five dollars well um, you have the same input but different output so you'd say hey something's not functioning so the way we want things to work typically in uh, in the real world and that our mathematics reflects that is that if you have the same input you want to end up with the same output okay relations and functions can be described several ways one way remember it's just a set of ordered pairs you could just list the ordered pairs but the problem with that is that all of the interesting relations and functions in math typically have an infinite number of ordered pairs and we can't list them all so another way we could do it is we could describe the ordered pairs uh, using an equation so that's what we did earlier when I wrote up here you know that X was Y squared or Y was X plus 3 because that sets up a relationship and if you pick an uh, you know your X value you might have to list your domain and say X is you know negative 1 0 1 and 2 and then you have your Y values and that that describes them uh, another way is with the mapping diagram that we mentioned earlier so if you had minus 1 and 0 1 and 2 paired with uh, two three four and five so that's the mapping diagram we saw that one and the last way um, is is by plotting the ordered pairs and this one ends up being very important because it gives us a picture that you can see the relationships okay so for example on that first one that we had we had negative four two that was one ordered pair and and uh, I'm sorry uh, positive 4 2 and positive 1 1 and 0 0 and 1 negative 1 and uh, 4 negative 2 and and if you look at that you can say hey there's there's definitely a relationship you can see that those all lie on a horizontal parabola you can see some symmetry but you see there's definitely a relationship or this one that uh, we just did right here um, if I have a negative 1 2 and 0 3 and 1 4 and 2 5 you'll notice again there's a relationship those all lie on a line and there's a relationship that exists between those so plotting the ordered pairs uh, to get the, the the graph of the relation or the function is something very very important in in algebra that we want to spend time with uh, learning okay so thanks very much and we will see you next time